Greetings PC Gen enthusiasts, this is Andrew Maitland with the PC Gen Project coming today with a quick tutorial on how to load up the program and get the books that you want to use that are available. So on my screen here I have my little PC Gen um, shortcut. This is for the 655 version that you get when you do the Windows install. If you have a different operating system then you have to use the uh, various methods. There should be a jar, a .jar file that Java will load. So this is the opening screen and this is what we call our basic loader and then we have the advanced loader. We'll get to the advanced here in a moment. So PC Gen comes prepackaged with different supplements loaders to meet specific needs. We don't try to account for every need these are just the basic building blocks to get you started. So if I want to run a Pathfinder game and I want access to pretty much all the core supplements, this is my go-to right here. Now I can actually make this a little bit bigger and I will scroll this down and this tells me what books or sources are going to be loaded in here. So right now this is going to give me the core rule book, the first bestiary, the second and the third bestiary, advanced players guide, the advanced race guide, Ultimate Combat, Ultimate Magic, Ultimate Equipment, Ultimate Campaign, and the Advanced Class Guide. So if I hit load, eh, all those books are going to load up. And this right here has the less than all of that fun stuff. Um, if I want to add more books than this is giving me, if I switch over to Advanced, one, it's going to pull over what we just had there and it's just in a different location now. I can expand this a little bit more so you can see it easier. But all those books are still down in here. And this is what would load. But then I can go in here, go into my Pezo, and I can add the Adventurer's Armory. There's the nice pictures, the logos, what ver the status of it, and any other information that would be included with it. So I can add that. So now I have the Adventurer's Armory along with my core supplements. If I want to do uh, one of these APs, there's the AP Player's Guide. I can add that. Um, these ones are in red. These means you're not meeting the requirement. So for the Dragon Empire's Gazette here, it's a beta. You just scroll down here. Requirements. We need to include the book type Core Rules, which we should already have. It needs the Inner Sea World Guide, which we're not including. And it should already have Ultimate Combat, part of the Core Supplement. So I can just really quickly search by its abbreviation ISWG which most people don't know about and I can add it this way or I can go by the full name Inner C and there you go there's World Guide I add it now all the other Inner C stuff is now available cancel out the search now I can go back in here and find what I wanted so as you can see uh, it's a little nuanced. We're trying to improve the system, but this is how it works. Because if you load the book without the requirements, you're going to be missing data that's required, and you're going to have a bad character, and we don't want you having a bad character. So that's why we use the, um, you must have this in order to use that a system. Some of these books are actually a little bit more intelligent behind the hood. Um, they will actually include bits and pieces from other books. We do try to do that to reduce the dependency. So if you have a book that requires a couple feats from the Ultimate Combat, the Ultimate Combat's not loaded, it will grab those couple feats to make the system happy. But if you want to have all the Ultimate Combat feats, you're going to need to load Ultimate Combat. And then you just click the Load button. Status bar goes along about down here. It shows you all the files that are being loaded until eventually it finishes. <laughs> And mind you, the more books you load, the longer this process will take. Because each book takes up memory. Because uh, you're putting everything in storage to be available for your character at a moment's notice now. So I do recommend that you only load the books that you're actually going to use for that character. And that way you'll save yourself some time and memory. So as it thinks and thinks, should be done here. And I get a little icon. This should be green. Yellow means there's a deprecation or a little warning notice. See, 326 warnings occurred. 
A red stop sign says, basically, stop, do not pass go, you've got an error. And that's when you should be prompted to contact us through our JIRA. So you can actually pull up the log using either F10, or you can go to the tools, and there's the log, and there's the shortcut key, F10. And it'll give you all the issues it's finding. So this is pretty much stuff that's going to be taken care of in the 6-6 cycle here, uh, once we get into our beta phase. So these are all the replacements. So that's the basics of loading and getting your books and knowing um, what the little symbols mean. Hope you learned something from this. Until next time.